Right, well we've driven up from Scottsdale and we've just come to a place just north of Phoenix called Discount Sports or Pro Edge Sports. And what I'm doing, I'm going to be having the plates of my skates changed. These are nylon ones and I'm going to be having them done into aluminum ones. And I'm going to have my wheels changed, new bearings and everything. It just costs a lot less to get it done in America than it does to have done in the UK. So, let's go. Pro Edge Sports was founded in 2001 and has gained a fantastic reputation across the globe as a place to get unbiased advice and a showroom stock full of goodies. From custom ice skates, derby skates, bouting costumes, wheels, bags, plates and anything else in between. I was really looking forward to meeting with Kelly so he could explain to me the ins and outs of skate mechanics and also help me get the perfect fit. I was quite surprised to discover I wasn't the most far travelled visitor. One girl had come all the way from New Zealand just to get the perfect setup. Roller derby is pretty simple. There's you've got you've got your helmet, your elbow pads, your knee pads, um, and your skates. Because it's such a, a evolving sport and developing, and there's so much new interest in it, people are for the most part coming in and buying all the gear together, which is why we have a bunch of packages mm -hmm. um, set up with the most popular skates. Uh, and you know you've got pretty much the most popular skates and, and the best skate for your money, which is this, which is the Vandal and now you're in the process of upgrading it and it's really one of the best boots that you can buy. I've been doing this for about 23 years with hockey, inline skating, roller skating and figure skating. Uh, I've had this store in Arizona since 2001 uh, and we've been doing primarily figure skating and now that roller derby's evolving again we're you know it's the same all the same product vendors that we use for figure skating mm -hmm. and inline skating got lots of experience doing this type of thing so and all the staff are professionally trained on how to fit skates um, which is what you generally will not find in you know local skateboard stores mm -hmm. and other kind of stores that carry you know similar lines because it does cross over um, into like the skateboarding world as well with respect to pads and components. Mm -hmm. We always recommend going with a full leather boot that's got a leather upper and a leather sole. And the advantage you have when you buy something like this is the boot's not just glued together or bonded together with cement, but they actually pull it off the manufacturing line, put it on a sewing machine, and then it's stitched together too. Mm -hmm. So the leather actually wraps underneath. So when the boot flexes and torques, you're not just torquing on glue or cement, which you'll tend to see the boots start to separate. Mm -hmm. um, especially if you're on a bank track, you're going to start wearing your skates and it puts, you're, you're going around a circle, puts a lot of pressure right on the seam of the skate. So you get something that's just glued together and you become a pretty good skater. It really torques the skate and it will rip the skate apart. Mm -hmm. So from a standpoint of, you know, quality, this is generally, this is the skate, the Rydell 265. Um, the one that we always like to recommend. Now that being said, it's, it's a $300 skate, not everybody has that much money. So we've got two skates that are less expensive that again are leather skates, um, but they have plastic soles. These are pretty much the best wheels you can buy. You're gonna get Swiss bearings, which are for the most part the fastest bearing you can, you can have. The biggest difference is going to a nylon plate is from a nylon to an aluminum is the amount that the skate flexes. When you're skating and your boot actually bends and flexes, mm -hmm. what happens is it puts torque and pressure on the wheels and it works as resistance to slow you down. Mm -hmm. When you put on an aluminum plate, it limits the amount of flex that the boot has and it solidifies the whole, all the components underneath. So it, it, it gives you a true transfer of power. Okay. And it's going to, you know, with a good skater or somebody with experience, it's going to really accelerate them. It, it's really just up to you. I mean, these bearings are ABEX 7s. They're the stock bearings that come with this skate. Um, aftermarket bearings tend to be a little bit faster and spin faster than you know, the ones that come in the factory skates. Well, old technology, they pack the bearings with grease and now they don't use grease anymore. They use, for the most part, they use oil or Teflon in the bearing because it allows the, the, I mean, the bearing basically is you have a nice board ring and then inside there's little balls that spin around the ring. If you have metal touching metal, as metal you know, spins around, it's gonna heat up and it's gonna seize. 
Uh, so they use so that you need to have some sort of uh, lube in there to let the bearing spin freely. With grease, it acts as, I mean, it's not, it does, it acts nice, it greases the bearing, it allows it to spin, but it also provides resistance because it is a thicker material. Mm -hmm. And if it gets dust or dirt in it, it's gonna, it's gonna goop up and it's gonna provide more resistance and the bearing will not spin as fast. So, you know, the most bearings are packed with oil and then the really high-end bearings are packed with a Teflon oil or a synthetic version which allows the bearing to spin freely, okay. doesn't goop up, doesn't slow down, and it provides um, a lubrication between the metal so it's, you never get metal grinding metal. As soon as you use like WD-40, which a lot of girls have sprayed on their wheels. Yeah, that's what we've been recommended. Yeah, it's the worst possible thing you can use because WD-40 is a degreaser and what it does is it goes right in and it completely um, evaporates the, the oil and anything in there and then your bearing your bearing spins really nice when you just spin it on your wheel um, or on your skate it just it spins great but then as soon as you actually skate on it and it heats up the bearing is going to start to seize and it's going to slow down when you skate mm -hmm. so just being able to put your wheel on and spin it like this doesn't tell you anything about your bearing because ideally when you start skating and you want your bearing to heat up mm -hmm. and the glue or the oil or the teflon or whatever's in there starts to heat up it's going to spin faster when your bearing sees and it doesn't have anything on it it's going to spin faster on a free spin without any weight so i've just had my wheels put on and tomorrow i'll be coming back and they're going to put on my on my plates and my bearings for me because that's going to get delivered tomorrow um, just really helpful guys they've you know just explained every single component of wheels and everything they just know they really know their stuff